Guys, I can't believe it's been almost four years. I've been watching and admiring this guy do his thing, and today, he's coming on the vlog. Guys, before we start that vlog, I wanna to talk to you about Orange Theory Fitness. This is the most incredible way to get healthy, both physically and mentally. There are over a 2 million people worldwide that go to Orange Theory every day. And the reason why I love it is because it's data-driven. You can get in there, work out, it tracks your performance, whether you're a professional athlete or a grandmother or a grandfather, it doesn't really matter. It's you against you. The studios are hygienic, really, really clean, and it's a great way for you to be able to concentrate outside of the studio. So when the world is coming at you thick and fast, the discipline that you get from Orange Theory Fitness enables you to be able to cope with the pressures of the day. Orange Theory Fitness's motto is more life. And as a consumer of it, I couldn't agree more. More in the details below, get onto it. Thanks guys. Guys, welcome back to the vlog. I can't believe <laughs> that we have been, known each other for probably three and a half, close to four years, and this is the first time you're coming on the vlog. This is Kyle, everyone. We're gonna talk about his journey, but before we get there, a little bit of uh, preamble from me. So you had, or have, a company called Elite Vitality, and I used to see that come up on our event space booking database pretty regularly. Elite Vitality's in again, and maybe it was meeting rooms, or maybe it was the event space, mm. but Elite Vitality f flowed through our system on the regular, right? Fast forward maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, I introduced you to my business partner out of Los Angeles, Brendan, uh, from Orange Theory Fitness, uh, Super Bowl champ. I thought you guys would get along really, really well, uh, which you did. Um, but before all of that happens, Sade was like, hey, Toby, you gotta see this guy, Kyle. You gotta get on his Instagram, and I'm gonna link all the details below. He's, he's sending some serious like fire and bombs and amazing content. Uh, and so I started following a long time ago. Yeah. And so that was sort of like a bit of a, like obviously you're building your own brand around Elite Vitality, but then um, a new, dare I say, side venture has emerged. Yeah. So. We, a, a big part of Elite Vitality was previously we had a podcast and it was very tied into the business and obviously a marketing channel and I fell in love with that as a medium. Yep. I just love the fact that I could network, you know, we ha had you on at one stage and, and the conversations and just the, the places that you go in those conversations I fell in love with. Um, and I, Elite Vitality was a business that I built up over, a, you know, three, four year period. And then it kind of started to work really well without me, if that makes sense, or at least being, you know, super in the trenches. And I found myself going, oh, okay, like, you know, what now? What, what, what's kind of the next thing? Um, and that's where I was like, okay, if I'm gonna do something, I want it to be the thing that I'm most passionate about. I want mm -hmm. it to be the thing that if I, you know, paid, if I was doing this for the rest of my life, I'd be, completely happy yep. you know what I mean and, and so the, the idea was podcasting and so we kind of shifted and, and I started a podcast called Pivotal Conversations and that was purely all about business wealth and character I was like you know what are the things that I think push the needle forward for mm -hmm. people you know like mm -hmm. what are, you know if we're talking about someone wanting to get ahead in life um, it, it, what are the things that will actually push that forward and and that was kind of the birth of, of Pivotal Conversations as a podcast. And, you know, now it's ventured into, we now have two shows and we have three mini series in the works on top of that as well. And we signed two major sponsors in the last three months, um, which is really exciting with, you know, some, some big, big companies. So incredible, um, man. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, you know, and, and we started here, you know, um, yeah, it yeah. started, it started in, in the den, which was, the meeting room and that's kind of where it where it all initiated um and i used to see you like the buildings were empty and you and brayden were here every week or every day hustling away we had some awesome conversations all over this place um and so the side hustle has become 
the main show now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It must feel good. Yeah, I think I think the thing, it, you know, I mean, this is business 101 though. It's like everything starts with an idea. Yep. And I had this, I had a really clear vision of what I wanted for it and um, what I wanted it to become. Yep. And I wanted it to be big. I, I, you know, I've got a deep belief that conversations are life changing. You know, we can all, we can all look back at a single conversation in our lives that changed our trajectory for good. Uh, and for me, that was really important to be able to share as many of those kind of conversations with people as I could, because the reality is, is not everybody has access to them. You know, like I was lucky that I had someone come into my life who had, or I had that conversation with, but there's people out there that don't. And I think that was kind of the initial vision. And, and obviously it's a it's a yeah. domino effect from there. Yeah, it but, is. Um, you know, I think doing something you're deeply passionate about, when you find that, the rest is history because you just kind of go Could, and it's 100 miles an hour. Couldn't agree more. I mean, I, I've watched you. Um, I've been inspired by you, truthfully. Um, it's amazing to have seen where you were three and a half, four years ago to sort of where you're at right now. Um, I continue to be engaged uh, via your Pivotal Conversations handle on Instagram um, and watching that sort of stuff. I love it when Braden's on. Uh, shout out to Brayden who shows up to come running, but always is like, I'm just going to walk the dog today. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a running group on a Wednesday morning uh, at the end of Martin Street in Brighton. And uh, Brayden has shown up. He showed up once uh, and, and unfair to him, but we just kind of went for it instead of like easing him in. And now he shows up, hey, just coming down to say good day to you guys. I'm not going to run today, but, <laughs> um, but it's great to watch you guys do your thing. Um, someone that's truly, truly um, inspiring other people has to draw inspiration from others in order for me to do what I do. Yeah. And you're looking at it right now, guys. Um, I, I love the stuff that you're doing. I'm excited for you. We're doing some really big things. I'd love to collaborate with you in the future on. Um, and I'm just, uh, I'm grateful that you took the time to come here today and, and share. I'm gonna link all of Kyle's details, both for, um, uh, Elite Vitality and uh, his podcasting mega business, media business in building um, so that you guys can get engaged as well. If you do nothing, open up your Instagram right now, search him, all the details are below and I'm telling you, it's it's, it's worthwhile. Um, mate, thank you. I appreciate it and, and shout out to Tobes as well because he's been a big inspiration for me and, and helped me out a lot along the way as well. So you need people like Tobes in your corner to make it happen um, and appreciate give you that belief. So no, Thanks, I appreciate man. it. All right, guys, we're just gonna keep blowing each other's trumpets here. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one.